Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I threw out a bunch of topics, but then um, we opened it up for the group to ask questions, and one of the first topics that came up really was kind of what is mentoring. Um, so we talked about this fact that it's, there, that there's a difference between mentoring and, and sponsorship. Uh, we talked about uh, whether it should be informal or formal, uh, whether or not it should be women and women, you know, mentoring. Um, so we just, we just, um, we spent a little bit of time talking about that. And, and really the, the answer is get what you need, right? I mean, find the people that can help you with the things that you need help with or find people who can help you find people. Who can who can help mentor you on those things, um, and and if you need you know if you work better with women then then get women as your mentors. If you if it's a topic where the guys are all better at it, then get a guy who's who's good at it that that you think you can work with. But um, don't think of it as this. You know, I, I have to find the the one and only mentor. Uh, was it one of our topics? Um, we talked about whether you're, you know how much do you need a, a mentor, how do you find them. Uh, I kind of went through enough of that just now. See, so I can I can power through these notes. <laughs> um, so so most of the time we really talked about some of the mentoring questions that people had. Uh, we didn't keep that many notes of that because um, I think that's the other key thing you really want to establish in any mentoring relationship that you're that you're where you're getting mentoring from somebody is establish some confidentiality. Because you want to be able to be able to ask questions, be able to mention issues that are going on. And, and you want that to be able to um, be something you can do and not have it suddenly you know, whip around on you. Um, uh, the other, in fact, the other, the other topic that come up, I'm not sure where it is in the notes, so I'm just going to bring it up, was, was this question, too, of sort of who are good mentors. Um, in, in our case, in our organization, one of the things we do is we try and find people who aren't in the person's line management. So they're not tempted to meddle in, the, in, in whatever the, the, the things are that I want help with, but instead want to help me, if I'm the protege, get better at it myself and, and resolve or, or you know, get the promotion or things myself, rather than go in and do it for me in, in a sponsor sort of way. Um, yeah, okay. And then, um, so, so, yeah, we, um, people brought up different topics that they wanted, that they had questions about. So this is, this is sort of a, a rough view of some of the um, ways to approach uh, people and, and how to think about how you, how you get help from, from folks on the mentoring. Oops, I didn't even think about the camera. I'm probably walking right out of view. <laughs> okay. Um, and, you know, but really it, when you approach somebody, you know, this, this idea of sort of knowing, you know, knowing a little bit of what you want from them and, and just working at figuring out how it can be mutually beneficial, some of those sort of things. Um, like I said, a lot of the time we, we spent on actual topics that people had, I had questions about. Um, so those notes are not there. Um, and, and I, so I'm not going to go through those any more than that. So are there, is anybody who attended one to bring something up that they, said or learned that they thought was particularly important for the group to hear? I want to open up the, the floor for folks to... I'll say something about the whole communication. Because as a person who gets a lot of communications, you made a really good point about a good subject line and what you want in that top paragraph. You would not believe how many emails I have that are longer than a blog should ever be. And they said, well, at the bottom, that's when I asked you if you would do this. And I was like, well, I never got that far. <laughs> and one, they're kind of upset that I never read their whole email. But two, they never should have wrote me 800 words. So I thought that was really good advice on, on the communications and, and how, to, how to initiate that conversation. Other things that people heard that they want to bring up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the point was people are busy. And, and if, if, if they, you know, they may well have seen your email just before they went to sleep. And, oh, I, you know, I should respond to that in the morning. And in the morning, I want breakfast. I got to get to work, right? And, 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 and by afternoon, they have no idea your email ever existed. 
So you know, sending a second one is not rude. Sending 20 gets rude. <laughs> but you know, yes, send a, you know, if you're trying to reach out to somebody, send a second email. Thank you. And